back everyone so today we're going to, still going to be learning about sweet potato the story but today we're going to be thinking about our villain the evil pea so we're going to be pretending to be evil peas and doing some writing as though we are that's who we are so we're going to explain who evil P is we're going to explain how he's feeling at the end of the story and we're going to explain why he's feeling that way so again, if you need it, here is the link to the story of Sue Potato that we've been learning about. If you want to watch the story again, then you can do that now. So let's have a think about the evil P. And we know that he is the villain. He is the baddie in this story. So I want you to have a little think. You might want to pause the video and think about what does he look like? Obviously, he's very green. And what is his personality? So you could, we're not going to do a character pyramid about the evil P, but if you want to use some of those ideas to have a think, what might he like, what might he dislike, what is he afraid of, what is he worried about, you could also think about what he would say, sorry, what people would say about him, but it might also be worth thinking that if you met evil P or you were one of his friends, what would he say about Sue Potato. Imagine he's having a bit of a gossip about Sue Potato. What kind of things would he say about him? So pause the video and have a think about the evil P. So hopefully you've had a bit of time to think about the evil P, what he's like, what his personality's like, what people say about him, what he would say about other people, mostly Sue Potato. But now you are no longer you. You are evil P. You're not you anymore, you're the evil P. And what we're going to do is we're going to pretend you're the evil P at the end of the story when he's been carted back to his freezer prison by the fish fingers. And I'm thinking he's probably pretty mad about this. He's not going to be a happy P, is he? He's going to be quite cross that his plans have been scuppered by Sue Potato. And what you're going to do is, while you're in your freezer prison, you're going to write a postcard to your P friends so you need to explain to your P friends that you're pretty mad about what's happened to you. Not happy at all. And have a think about what would he say? So he would say he was mad, but he's going to have to explain why he's mad. He might want to say what's happened and he might want to make some suggestions to his friends. So in the files or in the things that you've been sent, you'll see there is a postcard template. But don't worry if you haven't printed it or you haven't got it, you can still just do this on a piece of paper. So you'll see here I've written an example. This is what I would write. So remember, you don't need to copy mine, but I thought I would write an example to give you an idea of the kinds of things that Mrs Lee and I are looking for. So my postcard, I'm no longer Miss O'Dwyer though. I am the evil P now. You've got to imagine I've got a big green face and a mask on. So, dear P friends, I am writing to you from prison and I am furious. So I to think of a better word for cross. That silly Sue Potato has trapped me in the freezer because he spoilt my funny plans. I thought broccoli looked hilarious, another word for funny, when I drew on his face. You need to get revenge on Sue Potato. Find him and mash him. Your brilliant leader, Evil P. So you can see at the side of the postcard, I've made up an address as well to send it to my P army. But the kinds of things I'm looking for, it'd be nice to have some conjunctions as well as capital letters. In some of the work that's been emailed to me, I've seen some missing capital letters. And I've tried to explain why I'm writing to you the P's. I've tried to explain how I'm feeling about the whole situation being back in my freezer prison. And I've also told the P's that I thought I was brilliant. You know, sticking all the veg to the conveyor belt. I thought my ideas were brilliant. And it's only because of Sue Potato that it got spoiled. Then I've also given the peas some advice on what they should do now that I can't. Now I'm stuck back in prison. So hopefully that's given you an idea of the kinds of things we're going to be looking for in your postcard. So what do we need to do now? We need to get writing. You are not Scorpius as a serious class anymore. You are all the evil P. So you can use your postcard template or write on some paper. Tell the other peas where you are and what's happened to you. How are you feeling about that? What have the peas got to do? Give them some advice. Be bossy. Don't forget capital letters, full stops and finger spaces like I've said. Remember as well, if you finish before we get together, you can always check through your work for your spellings and your punctuation. You could even think, oh, have I got another sentence I could add in? You can add extra bits in, make use of the time that you've got. 
Remember, if you get stuck, you can chat to us on Teams or ask an adult if you're at school. And when you've finished, we're going to share our work at the end of the lesson. But you can also email it to us and the email address is on the slide below. So I hope you're going to enjoy doing this. I love pretending to be the evil pea because really I like to pretend to be a baddie. So have lots of fun, come up with loads of great ideas and I will see you later to share them.